Hi everyone, so welcome to the next episode of Real Estate Ramblings. This week I thought it would be helpful if I could give you a list of character traits that you should look for whenever you are considering hiring a realtor because spring is here, summer is right around the corner, and the market is really heating up again. So number one, gets along well with others. I bet you didn't even expect me to say that, right? But my mentor told me a long time ago and repeats it to me a lot that realtors destroy deals more than clients do. And that is so true. I've been really lucky. I have not worked with a lot of difficult realtors, but I have before. And I had to keep in mind that it was my client's interest at stake, not my emotions, not my frustrations, not my anger. So you really want to make sure you hire someone that is not gonna let a grumpy, a jerky, an arrogant agent get to them. Because really, if it gets to them, it gets to you getting that house. So think of it that way. Number, let's see, two, empathy. Oh, this is something, I think this is probably my biggest complaint um, among my real estate colleagues. Sorry, but it is. We forget that our clients only buy and sell property a handful of times in their life. And we see some crazy things. We see the stress of a transaction for 40 plus hours a week, but our clients don't. And we forget that and you know, sometimes we get frustrated by it. So we really need to make sure that we understand our clients have a lot on the line and we need to put ourselves in their shoes and have empathy for their frustrations, their fears and um, their emotions really, because real estate is an emotional thing even though it shouldn't be. Um, number three, not a hobbyist. So yes, you can hire someone that sells two or three houses a year. That's fine. But if I were you, I would not. I would hire someone that does this full time. Someone that is active in the real estate world 12 months out of the year. Um, I just think it's really important. I mean, again, this is such an expensive transaction. You wanna make sure you're working with someone who takes this very seriously as a full-time job. Number four, and this is the last one if you're ready to quit watching, technology. So I'm coming to you from video, right? That's how you're watching it. And I really try to stay on the forefront of marketing ideas because whenever you hire us to sell your home, you are hiring us to market your home, right? And I think it's so important that you hire someone who knows what's going on with Facebook, who knows what's going on with Instagram and all of that. Someone who is up to date with their social media, who is up to date with all of their technology because it's changing all of the time and for you to get the biggest bang um, out of your buck with a realtor you need to hire the one that is the most up-to-date with technology so I hope this video was helpful was informative if you have a question or maybe you think there is a really important trait that I missed um, please leave a comment below and I realize there's probably one that people are gonna say I missed and that is experience well Experience is very important. Uh, every deal, I learn something new, but I have seen some really amazing agents who have only been in the business for three months, six months, a year, and they do an outstanding job. I mean, I think as long as they have got a mentor to call upon, you shouldn't worry if they've only been doing it maybe for six months. So just my opinion, I know not everyone will agree with me. Again, I appreciate you watching. Please reach out if you have a real estate question or a need and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.